Welcome to Guac Gaming. Guac King here with a guide on how being overweight or underweight in Red Dead Online affects your gameplay. If you go on to find this helpful, consider dropping me a like and subscribing as that really helps grow the channel. So basically what we have going on is Brizzle here is underweight and I'm overweight. We're gonna race, grapple, fight each other, and also we're gonna test gun damage to see if there's any advantage to being underweight or overweight in combat. First, let's take a look at the stats. So you can see here if you're underweight, then your health, stamina, and dead eye cores all drain at your normal 100%. And here you can see if you're overweight, then all your cores will drain at 125%. So already you can see that if you're really overweight, your core drain rate is higher. It's worth noting here as well that if you're severely underweight where it's turned red, you'll also drain at the same 125%. But typically if you're just eating a little bit, you'll be regular underweight. There's just random moments like this if you've died recently where you might end up really underweight. First up, races. So we just raced around Valentine. Remember, Brizzle is underweight and Guaking is overweight. You may have noticed that I got a head start. As the leader of this channel, it's really important that I win this race, even though I'm overweight, as I have an image to uphold. As you can see, Brizzle's stamina is decreasing much slower and he is able to overtake me. get to the finish line and I am completely out of stamina and Brizzle never even tapped into his core. So underweight is clearly better at running. All right, next up, hand-to-hand -hand combat. I wanted to see how many hits it would take an overweight person to knock out an underweight person. And you can see here that I don't have any ability cards to buff my stats and Brizzle does not have any ability cards to buff his defense. Really, I just wanted to lay into Brizzle because he beat me in the race, but I told him it was for science. 13 punches. I did forget that he would have to do it to me too though. Seventeen punches. So it took four extra punches for the lightweight person to beat up the overweight person. Okay, so grappling was somewhat inconclusive. The person with the higher stamina core percentage seemed to win, but when the core percentage was even, the underweight person won more often. But it wasn't a sure thing. If any of you out there know what the nuance is with the grappling, please leave a comment below because we'd really like to know about it. Now we're going to get into shooting, but first let's sum up the hand-to-hand. -hand. If you're underweight, there's clearly an advantage with stamina related things. So running, shooting a bow, and oftentimes grappling seems to be stronger. Whereas the overweight person seems to have a stronger health core. They could take more melee damage. I don't think they're dealing more damage when they hit. I think that's just the result of the health core being smaller for the underweight person. Going punch for punch didn't seem to do much for mine and Brizzle's relationship though. So we had to fight this one out and see who the victor would be. We all knew it would be me. Okay, now let's get into shooting. So Brizzle's out there and he's still underweight. So we're gonna see how many shots it takes to take him down with a fully cleaned carbine repeater and a fully cleaned cattleman revolver. We did this at maximum range so that the range would be consistent between each test. So we'll start with the cattleman revolver. And as you can see, I have no ability card set up and neither does Brizzle. All right, seven shots with the cattleman. Next up, we have the carbine repeater. All right, seven shots. Brizzle is overweight now, and we're going back to the cattleman revolver. So 
that's one extra shot with the Cattleman. All right, let's see how the carbine repeater fares with Brizzle being overweight. All right, eight. So that took one extra shot as well. So based on our research, it seems that if you're underweight, it's good for your stamina core. And if you're overweight, it's good for your health core. So depending on your play style, one or the other may be more useful. The way I see it, unless you're just running around collecting things for the collector or hunting, you're most likely going to end up in shootouts or combat of some sort. So for me, the higher health core is an easy winner. It's also very easy to maintain being overweight because you just have to keep eating meat. Also back then being overweight was a sign of being wealthy for whatever that's worth. All right, if you found this video helpful, drop me a like and subscribe for more Red Dead online content. Next time you bring the chips, cause I got the guac.